Alright, so it's been confirmed that Boiling Point is going to be in Scarlet's third variation. And she's going to have two of her buffs. I'm pretty sure Red Rain, this move, is going to be in it. I'm praying Red Mist. But it could also be the one where she takes less damage from projectiles. But her biggest threat, hands down, is Boiling Point. Now, what makes Boiling Point so dangerous is that it is very versatile. Just like that, 20%. You can kind of play like Garrus now, like a total scumbag, and just start zoning. And just landing that move and get respect from your opponent. And you can throw this, and then boom, and start landing that. But here's the thing about the move is pretty tricky to like to use. But let me just show you guys some simple things you can do with it. I really like to do this right here. And then enhance it and you get 23%. Super simple, a low. If you land it, boom. The way you can set it up is you can start gelling your opponent and boom, that and start landing that shit. Um, another thing is this move right here. You can get this going, 28, and then her big girl combo, right there, enhance it, 32%. So you can get a lot of damage with it. But here's the good and bad thing about this move. So, let's say my opponent blocks all this shit, right? Let's say I do it, I'm going to miss completely, and they get a free punish. Basically, like they 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 have 36 frames to punish you, and that's more than enough to like punish. But the good thing about it is that you could actually make the move come close. So let me show you. Yeah. Boom! Instead of it going over here, right? You could actually make it go up here, and then they can get caught. So. That is a thing, but here's another thing. So you're gonna have to get good at hit confirming with this move. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's say I land this move right. You're going. It's going to miss. So you have to get good with hit confirming with this move. Um, another thing is that, like for example, the whip. You see how it missed right here? I'm up close. I land the whip. But if I land it up here, and it lands, boom, I could do it. But you could also you could land the whip up close. Hey. If you make it, uh, if you make this move come close to you, so that is the learning curve that this move has is just basically controlling where it goes and hit confirming, like just getting good at hit confirming, um, because you can get punished hard for it, you know. So I guess that's kind of the, the, you know, that's kind of like the pro and con about it. So you have to get good with hit confirming. If not, you can get punished really, really hard. So that's the one thing. Um, so yeah, so it, it's just a very versatile move. It does a shit ton of damage, but those are the bad things about it. But if all goes well, if you start landing your combos, landing stuff like this, you know, matches are going to end very, very quick. Like 32, boom, enhance it. And you can just start doing annoying things like this, boom. And you start messing with your opponent and just get a ton of damage. Blood Ball into this, you know, it, it could be a deadly combination. You just got to get good with your ranges. That's what it really comes down to. It's a tough move to use. It's tricky. But honestly, man, just, just give it a couple of, like, a couple of days in practice mode and you should be fine. Um, I'm kind of terrible with it right now because I haven't used this move since the day came, since, you know, since launch. I was actually using this move on Scarlet on launch, but now that it's coming to tournament, because I've been playing competitively um, lately, um, it's going to be awesome. So hopefully they keep it the same, or they make it better. It would suck if they nerf the move, or you know the other buffs or whatever, because they have done some serious changes to some characters. Um, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But this is a little preview, a little warm up of like things you can do with it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys learned, I will check you guys later, hallelujah, holla back.